In this discussion, we're going to examine the development of autonomy and will in, through the concrete operational stage and beyond. Now, I think it's important for us that when we look at will and we look at autonomy, to understand that these two terms uh, are, are very closely related and to get some definition of each. Now, will might be described as the mental faculty by which one deliberately chooses or decides upon a course of action. Uh, another definition might be diligent, purposeful, purposeful determination, self-control, self-discipline. I want you to think about children as they develop from infancy on into the uh, concrete operational stage and give some thought to will. Uh, we've seen infants be willful about things. They want their way or, or this, that, or the other. But basically, infants uh, are not diligently purposeful. They, they're not uh, given to self-control. But the idea is, is that a person moves through stages by which they develop the mental faculty by which they deliberately choose or decide upon a course of action. Now, what we would hope is that they would decide upon an appropriate course of action. Autonomy is the condition or quality of being autonomous or evidence and independence. Now, uh, a, a, a state is considered autonomous if it's self-governed. A community or group can have autonomy, but the individual moved through stages of autonomy. And I want to share with you an overview perhaps of four stages that relate to autonomy and will. These stages of development begin with egocentric behavior. A child is very, very, very egocentric, very self-centered, very focused on self, but I want it, that's what I want, it's about me, 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 me. I love that old country song that says all you ever want to do is talk about you, 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 you. Every now and then I'm going to talk about me. So, you know, egocentric behavior doesn't die out as one move through, moves through these stages. Of course, the goal is that as uh, social skills develop, that egocentric behavior will take a backstage and when a child will develop uh, cooperation with others and then begin to understand the feelings and views of others. The next stage beyond the egocentric stage about what I want is that of the authoritarian stage. Uh, this is where there are authorities. Uh, my, my daddy is the authority. The sky is blue because daddy said it's blue. And children go through that stage. My mama said blah, 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 and therefore that makes it so. Now, those of us who are parents would probably enjoy it if our kids stayed in that stage, but that's not going to happen. It's, it's natural that they start out egocentric, then they move through the stage, the authoritarian stage, and the next stage that they come into is that of self-authority. Now, I want you to look at these stages. The first stage of egocentric behaviors that really developed as an infant, a very, very young toddler, zero to two authoritarian, uh, basically in the pre-operational stage. But in the concrete operational stage throughout the remainder of life, the child should be developing self-authority. Uh, making, uh, developing their own value system, their own understanding of cause and effect, their comprehension of what they should choose to do as the right course of action. And then ultimately in the uh, high end of the formal operational, they become a self-authority with compassion. Before we move on from this slide, I want you to give some thought to these four stages of, uh, of autonomous development. I think they're very important. And then think about some of the adults that you know. Do you know adults that are egocentric, that are very self-centered? They never really progressed much above that stage. What about adults that are authoritarian? It always fascinates me that uh, I can talk to members of uh, my family, my mother particularly, and, well, the doctor said, well, yeah, yeah, okay, the doctor said such and such. Does that make the doctor the ultimate authority? I might get a second or a third or a fourth opinion. I make such a poor patient because I tend to look for a doctor who agrees with me because I'm in the self-authority stage. Make my own decisions, set my own values. Now, the ultimate goal, of course, is you look at adults and you find very few of these 
is to be an adult who sets their own values but has compassion upon the opinions of others. The stages of development, egocentric, authoritarian, and the self-authority. Uh, I'm going to issue you a challenge out of this Piaget class that you not operate in the in the the sensory motor or the pre-operational to the concrete operational, but that you move into the formal logical and you move on the far upper end of that scale and become a person who sets their own values and does so with compassion on the views and opinions of others. You'll bless the world if you'll do that.